You remember that scene in Jurassic Park where Newman talks to that cute, innocent dinosaur, yeah, yeah, and before yeah. you know it, <laughs> and it spits in his face and then eats him. That's what this beer is. This is Iron Fist Velvet Glove. Glove, 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 glove. We're here again at Mommy Bay's Mutt Sports Bar, where if you look in the back, they have a cooler full of bombers from other breweries, and we saw this one today, and we said, let's give it a shot. Yeah, Velvet Fist is actually an imperial stout, and as we're pouring it, we can already smell <laughs> how big of a beer this is going yeah, to be. It's fitting what? for the name. It looks nice and soft, but I think it's going to pack a punch. Well, let's find out. Let's take a sniff of the Iron Fist. Dark I mean, fruits, chocolate, yeah. booze. Real heavy on the booze and really like deep chocolate, like dark chocolates. It's almost like syrupy, thick smelling too. Yeah, I'm getting like dark fruits, like a fig or a, mm -hmm. a raisin, just that real kind of rich, yeah, bittery kind of sugary smell to it. Yeah. A little licorice on there too. That's one I was trying to fennel, fennel or licorice, whichever you want to call it. Yeah, not a whole lot of head or anything to speak of, but uh. I'm a little yeah. scared. I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be kind of awesome. Let's take a taste of the Velvet Glove. Cheers. Cheers. Velvet's right. I mean, that is smooth. It's really undercarbonated, which you get from stouts like that, but just really, really smooth mouthfeel. I mean, it is like drinking liquid velvet. Nice and smoky and yeah. roasty on the back end there. Yeah. Uh, very boozy. Very <laughs> boozy. Yeah. Not not burning, like it's balanced in there, but mm -hmm. it's, it's really, really boozy. And it's one of those beers that takes you on like a, a ride of flavors, because at first it's like the sweet, the licorice, the chocolate, wow. the dried fruit. Yeah. And then afterwards, just this big puff of smoke comes in and like finishes it out. It's kind of a cool, cool little ride. Yeah, I would say that this is probably a sipper. And, <laughs> and you took a gulp. And I took a gulp. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably don't want... Well, you probably can't have more than one of these because it would probably, I don't know, kill you. I mean, there are definite notes of, like, concentrated coffee. Like, uh, espresso is perfect. It's a great descriptor. Yeah, it's really, the more I drink it, the more I like it. At first, I thought, it's probably a little too strong for me. I think it's actually more balanced out. Tastes really nice. I'm actually pretty impressed. Yeah. You know, and it's got a lot of flavor. I really wish carbonation was there. Yeah. I really do. I mean, I know stouts don't aren't supposed to have a ton, but just some would have been nice. This is almost like drinking like a liqueur. I mean, if you're someone who really likes like mochas or like, you know, chocolatey coffee flavored drinks, this is really going to be for you. Yeah. It definitely has a nice sweetness at the front and a little bit of bitterness from Burt Grain, but then just that coffee flavor takes over it. It's really, really pleasant. Yeah, I would say this would be a great beer for um, a, a nice chilly night, warm yeah. you up. It's really flavorful. Yeah, and I think it would go with a lot of things. Like I can see this tasting pretty nice with a Reuben sandwich, something that... <laughs> Everything tastes nice with a Reuben sandwich. Goes well the Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> so Ron, I know sometimes the bigger beers aren't your favorite, or at least they, they, they hit you pretty hard, because <laughs> you're such an iron fist. Uh, <laughs> but what do you give this beer? I was actually really pleasantly surprised by it. Yeah. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It didn't really like jump out to me or anything. I'm gonna give it um, a 93. I'm going to give it a, a, a solid A because I think the more I drink it, the more I found it to be really well balanced. It's got really great, rich flavor. The alcohol, it's there, but it actually, it's not overpowering in any way. Solid, solid beer. I liked it a lot. A. I'm actually going to follow very, very closely. I'm going to go 91. I think, I mean, again, for me, just not having any carbonation really killed it. And I don't know if maybe... You know, sometimes bottles, there's a little leak and just some carbonation falls out. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was the case. I don't think that was. I think they just brewed it to be a lower carbonated wow. beer. But for me, they kind of really distracted from the really great flavors that they put in here. And like you said, it's definitely an A beer. It's got all the complexity, all the depth that you want in a stout. I just wish there was a little bit of carbonation to, to really push that to the next level. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, make sure you, that you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube, subscribe, all all that good stuff. Do all of it. All of it. Listen to our podcast. Ron puts a lot of work into our podcast. I don't really do much with it. It takes we'll to it, it takes a long time to press upload. But <laughs> I would really like someone to listen to it. <laughs> and I do want to make a short plug here. Very soon we will have a new series. Very if soon. you look back, uh, we'll link to it. 
uh, Mommy Bay put out a little American Craft Beer Week event. Different beer every night, five days straight. They're doing it again. This yes. one is called Mutt's Mini Mash, and it's going to be five new beers, five nights, and we're going to cover it head to toe. So make sure you keep in uh, keep in touch and keep viewing for that because that will be a lot of fun. Yes. We're going to talk to the brewer and get his take on all of it, so stay tuned for that. And as always, remember, we're the Brew Review Crew. We'll review. A brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, like that review? Click on the video for our previous episode. You want to check out your favorite beer by the style? Click on the logo in the top left corner. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Cheers. Cheers. You know, I know that Corey and I have really soft exteriors and we yeah. look like nice guys, but what you don't know is that we're cold-blooded. Ha <laughs> <laughs>